This Cody training video will show you how to manually tear down the seam of a can to check the quality and specifications of a can seam. You are going to need a flat file, a pair of wire cutters, and a set of calipers or a micrometer. Let's start by dumping the product out of the can that we will be testing, remove the tab, and give it a good rinse. Next we are going to reference our seam spec sheet from our can and lid supplier. This will help us understand the measurements and specifications we're looking for. We will start by checking the seam thickness, taking a reading at multiple points around the can, being sure to get as accurate of a reading with our calipers as possible. Be sure to also take a measurement of the height of the seam as well. Start by placing the can on a flat, sturdy surface and running the file away from you as you rotate the can slightly after each movement. After a while, you will begin to see the lids separate away from the can itself. Once there is a good amount of separation around the can, the inner lid will right out. Now that the lid is out of the way, we will start by inspecting the pressure ridge line inside the can. We will be checking for waves, abnormalities, and spikes. The pressure ridge line is the point at which the dark coloration of the can meets the upper point of the flange. When looking for spikes or waves, we are looking for a 90 percentile of straight line. We will now snip the tab of our can with our wire cutters and pull down on the remaining lid material left behind after filing. Sometimes it helps to use a blade or a small screwdriver to initially separate the lid away from the can. Next, we will take the piece of lid that we have removed, as we may now take our reading for our cover hook. The cover hook is the small tab left on the underside of the piece we have removed. Take a few readings all the way down the strip to get a good bearing on the full 360 degrees of the seam, checking for irregularities and consistency in our measurements. And finally, we will take the reading of our body hook. Again, traveling around the can, taking multiple readings, ensuring we don't have any spikes or low points, making sure we are in spec, and checking to make sure we also have good consistency all around the seam. After collecting all of this data, assess your numbers based on the spec sheet from your can and lid supplier to be able to make adjustments. Nice job!